Do we love my top? <laughs> Thanks to Ross. He knows me so well. Now people are gonna know how I catfish them. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I thought I would show you how I go from zero to 100 real quick. My go-to makeup look. Every single time I do my face, I use these products, I use this technique. I'm not a makeup artist, so don't take anything I say as fact. Just take it with a little bit of grain of salt. Why the fuck am I out of breath? <sighs> oh, naggy. Salmon skin rolls. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight in. I always press my primers into the skin. It just sits into the pores a lot better. Next, I'm gonna take the Barry M Soft Focus. I love this stuff. It's revitalizing cream, primes skin, and refreshes makeup. It gives you a beautiful dewy glow. It's so affordable. It's not the products you use. It's how you look on those products. If you work it, if you've got some confidence, then you will look bomb no matter what. Although there is a limit, like. I am then gonna take the Revolution Liquid Highlighter. This is the Unicorn Elixir. Ooh. It's basically just a liquid sort of highlighter with a beautiful iridescent colour to it. And I put it underneath my foundation. I have a cat here. Cat here! Damn cats. Okay, so now we've basically primed our skin, got the liquid highlighter underneath. We're just going to take our foundations. I'm going to take the Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti Fatigue 16 Hour Foundation in the colour number 5. And we're going to mix it with the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the colour 1.2 P Light. We're going to mix these two together like so. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and just hammer away. I just love the way these two foundations mix together. So because I do suffer from dry skin and textured skin, I like to take the Body Shop Vitamin E spray. Before I powder, before I put my concealer and stuff on, I will just give my face a little spray. I will then take a fan, like the fucking queen I am. I will then take my concealer, and the concealer I'm going to use today is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Everyone's been banging on about this because they say it reminds them of the Tarte Shape Tape. I have no clue because I have never tried Shape Tape and I don't plan on to. Don't come for me, okay? I know it's a lot. <laughs> now we're just going to blend it in. I like to take this part of the sponge, the little flat part when it comes to it under my eyes. I mean, I do like this concealer, but I still prefer my Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. I don't know if this concealer is a bit drying, so be careful. I do remember the first time I tried it, I was shocked when I put it under my eyes because it felt so heavy and I wasn't used to that. But then again, I don't know if that was the powder I also used with it because I used a brand new powder. I had glitter on my eyes last night guys and it's fucking everywhere still. Now before I powder anywhere, I like to take the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contouring Palette. Recently I've been doing this to my nose before I go in with powders just to exaggerate that contour a little bit more. Cream contouring can be a little bit scary at first, but if you use the right cream contour it blends out beautifully. Now that I've got that harsh contour, I recently love to be blending it out with my fingers. I think it was actually Carly Bible that was doing it and it worked. <laughs> Now you still may think that's a bit harsh because it is, but don't worry, we're going to take our sponge again with the leftover product from the foundation stuff and we're just going to dab the nose like so and it will blend out any harsh lines. It has taken me years to find a nose contour that is perfect for me. Is anyone else having that problem? <laughs> just try new techniques when you're sitting down doing your face because you will eventually find the technique that will work for your nose. Thanks to anyone who has recently listened to my music on soundcloud.com slash Scott McGoldry. <laughs> Shameless plug. It really means a lot. Okay, so my little trick to set under the eyes is mixing the Revolution Lace Powder. This is for baking under your eyes, actually. It's specifically made for that. And I take some of my classic go-to Meron powder and I just mix both of them together. This part is really messy, so be careful. <laughs> Bake under my eyes. I'm then gonna take the powder across my nose. This is also gonna help thin down this beak. 
I mean, look at that nose, it already looks straighter. Now, to set the rest of my face, I will be taking the MAC Minimize Skin Finish. This is in colour light. Dab, 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 dab. I try and only powder the places I'm not going to hit with bronzer and blush, etc. Because I feel so when you add bronzer and blush, that's already basically setting the foundation underneath. Whatever. So, now that we're set our face, we're just going to jump straight into bronzer. And this is a Kill Bronzer by e.l.f. I'm obsessed with this because it is cool, it has grey undertones. It doesn't give you that tangled look. I'm not a big fan of the whole glowy orange look. I like my contour to look a bit more like a shadow. But if you are into that whole glowy orangey contour, then girl, do you. There's no rules to makeup, okay? It's whatever you feel looks best on your damn skin. I also use a big brush like this to start my contour because I feel as though it's a lot more natural. It blends out more seamlessly at the edges because it is a bit bigger. If you use a small thinner brush, I feel as though it makes the line just so much more harsher. So as you can see, there's like a shadow there. This is going to be underneath our contour. We're going to up the game a little bit in a second. I'm then going to take the Revolution Pro HD palette and the colour light I'm pretty sure. No, it's in the colour fair, sorry. I'm going to take the e.l.f. cheek and powder brush. It's like a little dense brush. And I'm going to take this colour in the middle and sometimes I will mix all three of them together to be honest. <clears throat> Hit it off. Suck on the jaws. I only bring my contour down to here, basically the end of my eyebrow. And bitch, if you love food like me, contour is your best friend. Oh okay. yeah. So now that we've contoured, this bacon has been on my face for quite some time, about 5-10 minutes. I'm going to take a stipple brush by e.l.f. again, and this is what I use to brush all this powder away. Mmm, girl! So addictive! Now that I've sprayed my face with that vitamin E spray, I will take the end of this sponge here and sort of push it into my skin. P.S. guys, it takes a lot of makeup to look natural. <laughs> so weird. I am literally a catfish. No wonder I'm still single. We are now going to move on to some highlights. I think I'm going to take one of these highlighters by Revolution and it's from the Ultra Cool Glow palette. So I'm going to take this purplish colour here and I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge, put a little bit on, boom boom boom. I am so sorry about the lighting guys, I did not even realise that my battery was running out so the lights were getting dimmer and dimmer and now I look hella greyish, damn. Now look at that, that is bomb as fuck. Now if you think that's a little bit too much highlight, the reason why I put it on like that is because I'm going to put blush over the top to make it blend more seamlessly. So because the blush is just technically a powder, it will take away some of that highlight. That's why I like to apply it with a sponge so it's real damn heavy at first and then as soon as you apply the blush it sort of blends it, makes it a little bit more natural. I got this new blush that I've been wanting to try and it's by Revolution, this little thing, I think it's only like a pound, but I really just loved that colour. This is in the colour now. That light just went out. <gasps> I do apologise if the light keeps changing in this video guys, it is nearly 4am now and everything is going wrong, the batteries keep running out and I have to keep going charging them. That's the reason why. So, I just take this blush and boom, 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 boom. I'm just a slut for blush, I just love the whole baby pink tone. So, to highlight my nose, I will just take this palette by Revolution again, but instead I will take this Revolution brush that is very thin, and then I'll start here almost, and just sort of press it up my nose. Dabbing it and being very careful, trying to stay in a straight line. Can you see the difference in the nose? It just gives it that, but I've just had a nose job look. Now, I actually don't use fake lashes all the time. I very rarely use them. If I'm just going for the natural look, I will only use mascara and mostly only on the top. I think I'm going to take this Shido, Shido, I don't know how to say it, mascara. Perfect mascara, full definition. In fact, I'm just going to take this Miss Sporty Fabulous Lash Mascara in Extra Black because I really like the way the wand is shaped. It sort of goes from thin to thick, which is perfect for my eye shape. 
So as you can tell, just adding a little bit of mascara to my top lashes, it just brings the look in a bit more and makes me look more put together. Now, I do not like a full-blown eyebrow, like a whole arch and concealed and stuff. I like my eyebrows to look natural and messy. So I really just throw a pencil over them. And the pencil I'm going to use tonight is the e.l.f. Eyebrow pencil. I have been using this for years. This is in the dark colour. And I just basically boom, 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 throw over my eyebrow a little bit, like so. I have used this since I first ever started makeup. I love a big thick pencil for eyebrows because I do not like my eyebrows to be too pristine. So once I've used the e.l.f. pencil, I will literally just take a little spoolie and I'm just going to take the spoolie that's on top of the L'Oreal Brow Artist and just basically brush this pencil around just so it looks more natural. Boom! Now because I have a mole here on my head, I will always take a little pencil, black or brown, and just make sure I go over it. I will then take whatever brush I was using for blush or bronzer and just sort of go over my eyebrows just so I know they're not moving anywhere. So when I am going for that natural everyday look, I only ever use lip liners. I never use lipsticks, etc. I feel as though lip liners are great because they don't go anywhere as soon as you put them on. I always take my finger and sort of blend like this. P.S. I just took the MUA in colour caramel nugget there and now I'm taking the Batty M lip liner and go to. See, just a nice sort of faded red wine look. That's my go-to usually. Now, because my lips aren't big and juicy, I will always take a little contour brush just to contour underneath my lip. Now, I've not blended it out properly yet, but can you see how that just creates a shadow underneath that bottom lip? It makes it look a lot more heavier and plumper. Look at that. Makes your lip look much bigger, especially when you're smiling. I'm actually going to take the Barry M Liquid Lipstick just to sort of change the colour up a bit be my face and that's basically it. Mm. <laughs> but other than that, that's me done. That's my 0 to 100 go-to makeup look. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, notification bar and all that other genetic bullshit that other YouTubers say and say here. Love ya. Mwah.